Hello everyone, welcome back to Career Prospect, where we talk anything relating to your career, be it career opportunities, the world of work, or studying abroad. Today's opportunity is Sunral. So Sunral is a South African state-owned company responsible for the management, maintenance, and development of South Africa's national road network. So the South African National Roads Agency is inviting suitable candidates to apply for the external bursary for the year 2023 academic year so this bursary comes out every year this bursary opportunity is for full-time studies in the areas of study of civil engineering be it bsc or bng in civil engineering btec civil engineering a postgraduate diploma in civil engineering diploma in civil engineering electronic engineering bsc or bng or a diploma procurement and supply chain management this is an advanced diploma in supply chain management human resources it can either be a bcom in hr or a diploma in hr or a bcom honors hr or advanced diploma in hr and lastly is environmental science which is a bsc environmental science so it's either you're studying at a university or a university of technology so if you're applying if you're in matric Best you apply for both university and university of technology in one of these fields so that you can qualify for this opportunity. So these are the requirements that you have to meet. If you are a student at a university already, then you need a 60% overall average. If you are in metric or you only have metric, you need a 70% overall average. You have to be a South African citizen. You must not be older than 35 years of old and you must be in, enrolling for full-time study. So you must be studying at a university that offers full-time study. If maybe you are studying at UNISA, then unfortunately this bursary is not for you. And then they are saying that the applicant's financial situation will also be considered. All applications will be required to do a means test. This is just a formula that is applied to determine the amount of financial assistance provided by Sanwa. So depending on the outcome of the means test, a family contribution may have to be made. So depending on the means test outcome, the bursary can be a full or partial sponsorship. So if it's a full bursary, then they cover registration and tuition, accommodation, study material and equipment, food, living allowance and access to a wellness program. And if it's a partial bursary, then they will cover registration and tuition, accommodation and access to wellness program so if you are shortlisted then they will invite you for interviews if you are successful then they will issue you with an award letter so always check your emails and if you do not receive any correspondence from them by 31st january of the following year then consider your application as unsuccessful applications are closing on the 30th of september you have to include the following documents with your application form so it's a cv certified copies of term one and term two results if you are in high school or your full academic record if you are already at a tertiary institution you also have to submit a certified copy of your south african id document you also have to write a motivation letter from the applicant uh, they say it must be one or two pages you have to also include your parents or guardians certified copy of id your parents or guardians proof of income and then if your application form is incomplete then you will automatically be disqualified so the letter of motivation is just a two-pager telling them about yourself and motivating why you would like to become a sunwell bursary holder also include your parents or guardians water and electricity bill from the council and then the proof of income or soon affidavit if parents are self-employed in the informal sector or they work from home then you must submit an affidavit on the amount that they earn late applications will not be considered so please submit the application before the 30th of september because if you submit after the 30th of september then unfortunately your application will not be considered because it will be late Remember, you have to be a South African citizen because they're going to require you to also um, attach your certified copy of your ID just to show that you are indeed a South African citizen. And then uh, if your application form is incomplete and inaccurate, then it will also be disqualified. 
So please make sure that the application form is filled completely. I'm going to include the link into the application form in the description box. So you can just click on that link and it will take you straight to the application form. You can fill that form online or you can just download it, print it and then you fill it out with your own handwriting and then you scan it or you take a picture. As long as everything is visible, it should be okay. Once you have filled out the application form, you have attached all the documentation that they need. That is the letter of motivation, certified copies of your high school results for term 1 and term 2, university results, full academic record, proof of tertiary registration, your ID document or birth certificate, your parents or guardians ID documents, proof of residence and all the additional requirements. And then you have to email them to external bursaries at nra.co.za that is external bursaries at nra.co.za but don't worry i'll also include this link in the description box if maybe you are struggling with the application form then there are also important contact details that you should note of if you are struggling you can call the number or you can send an email to the email address that i will include in the description box so always check my description box every time i talk about something your go-to place should always be my description box and then if you have any questions remember just drop me a comment in the comment section if maybe you need help with writing a motivation letter i would suggest that you dm me on twitter i'm mostly active on twitter so if you send me a dm on twitter then i will respond but then also on my email, I also respond. So you can also send me an email if you need help with your motivation letter. So this bursary is awarded to you from the day they are awarded to you until the day you complete your qualification. That is if you are studying. So if your qualification is four years, then the bursary will cover everything for four years, provided that you are meeting the past requirements. That is over 60 and over 70. So please, if you are in university, you are in high school, don't aim for the pass mark. Always aim for 70% so that these kind of opportunities, they don't pass you by. So with this opportunity, there is no need for you to apply every, every, every year. If you like this video, please hit the like button. This gives me energy. It motivates me to create more content, more videos for you. Also, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit that bell notification so you are the first person to know when I drop videos. Also share this opportunity with anyone that you know might want to be studying further. If you meet the requirements, please, please, please apply. Thank you. Until we meet in the next upload, it's bye from me. Have a productive day, everyone. Bye.